Right, welcome everyone. This is the mock interview series, and I'm Rajesh Gupta. With me, I have Jamin Partak. He will be the interviewer for this interview, uh, mock interview, and I'll be the candidate. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you are an existing subscriber, press the bell icon so that you get notified quickly. Okay. Um, every Saturday, almost every other Saturday, I conduct a cybersecurity career roadmap. It's a free webinar. If you are interested, you can join the webinar with the link mentioned in the description below. Okay, so let's get started. Hi, I'm, how are you, Jamin? I'm good, Anish. How are you? Good, good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. So, Rajesh, my today's question is on threat hunting. Okay. What is threat hunting and who do that? So threat hunting is basically most of the time it's it's considered to be a proactive approach where the cybersecurity professionals look for suspicious activity in the network. This activity they see that either on the Splunk by creating any advanced correlation rules. Uh, I mean, when I say Splunk as an uh, Splunk sim or any other sim, maybe it's IBM Q Radar, maybe it's the EDR solution as well, like uh, you know, uh, like CrowdStrike, Sentinel One. Uh, Windows Defender, and in this approach, uh, uh, Threat Hunter basically have a mindset that the organization is already compromised. Okay, and with that approach, they they go and look for you know identifying any suspicious activity or indicator of compromise, and uh, possibly any other artifacts as well. Okay, if in case the organization seems to be compromised. Okay. So it's very crucial, uh, and uh, it's it's actually conducted by the SOC analyst, uh, SOC analyst level three team, because uh, it helps to uh, uh, you know uncover the threats which was not uh, which which couldn't be uh, addressed by the traditional security solution because the traditional security solution works on reactive basis. They they react only if something happened. But uh, threat hunting in the SOC environment uh, is conducted by SOC analysis, as I said, and they look for any suspicious activity on SIM tool, EDR tool, or any SOAR tool as well. And based on that, they start uh, investigating. So, yeah. OK. So uh -huh. what is the difference between reactive and proactive threat hunting? Well, uh, reactive is, uh, you know, in a way, we, we reactive threat hunting is can be considered as the uh, security investigation because this starts when the incident or, or alert occurs. OK, so this is more of uh, this. This is more of uh, digital forensics or malware analysis or SOC level two team activity where uh, you know they often often rely on the existing rules or signature to detect the threats but the proactive threat hunting involves more of threat intelligence uh, more on looking at the suspicious pattern identifying any anomaly or maybe identifying any possible indicator of compromise not just depending on the url or ip address or hash value but even going beyond maybe any specific users uh, trying to look for insider threat or many maybe any specific system in the network and keeping an eye on probably uh, maybe for prolonged period maybe for two months six months as well so it depends on that approach so yeah that, that's the difference yeah okay and can you please explain some common techniques and tools that you have used in threat hunting so in my experience, I, you know, I, I, I have used uh, SIM EDR solution, but I also use some open source tools as well. Like uh, I've used OS query for running some, you know, query related, which basically uh, create uh, a query is kind of SQL query. So it actually, uh, basically, OS query is kind of a package. It's an agent software, which is installed on each endpoints. So it basically categorize, organize all the computers, all the endpoint resources in a database format. And then we can, from a centralized dashboard, run an SQL query to retrieve those information. 
Okay, so this becomes very helpful. Uh, on the similar note, we have Velociraptor as well, which is also very powerful. But currently, most of the uh, EDR solution offer this inbuilt. So they, with, in in fact, Windows Dep Microsoft uh, Defender as well offer some uh, query options where you can run those query and retrieve the information as well. So that's a very powerful uh, way of doing the threat hunting. Uh, but we can even go beyond that. Uh, we can even use the MITRE, MITRE attack framework to prioritize certain techniques uh, used by the attackers. And then we can perform the gap analysis or that can be used for doing the threat hunting as well. We can look at what are the important adversaries for us. And uh, then we can look for any common techniques used by those adversaries. And then we can start focusing on how exactly th those uh, techniques can be detected in the network. So I can run some OS query and then I can try finding out those uh, challenges or artifacts or evidences in the network if that's present. So this is sort of a tool, but the strategy is varies. It, it works on hypothesis. Okay, it's all start with the hypothesis that yes, this is the possible situation based on my organization, based on the past incident, based on the industry's insights as well. So that's how the threat hunting basically starts. So, yeah. Okay, perfect. So, yeah, yeah. Ranish, this is all I have for today. Thank you. All right. So, thank you so much, Jamin, and thank you so much, everyone. If you have any question, do let us know in the comment section. This is me, Rajneesh Gupta, with Jamin Patak. Bye for now.